so this is official website for france visa so there are a lot of fake links in chrome when you just type france visa so be very careful and i'll try to add this url in the description below so once you once you go here and you it, it has many options like hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another new video so in this video i'll be showing you guys on how to apply schengen visa so schengen visa is the most talked about visa for all indian tourists and everybody wants to visit the beautiful europe they want to they want to uh, really enjoy the all the european countries the food the travel um, um, take visiting the one of the greatest monuments uh, you have northern lights and uh, you have paris you have spain so this is this is the dream for most of the indian travelers who want to visit schengen and who want to visit european countries But But the process is a little bit complicated. It's not straightforward like other countries. So in this video, uh, I'll be I'll be sharing you guys on how to apply Schengen visa. I'll pick a country and I'll pick the easiest country whichever is available. And I'm I'll be showing you guys on how to apply this visa and roam all the Schengen countries in with. through this procedure and through this sort of application so before i begin the video you know schengen countries is about 28 countries available in uh, in in the schengen region there is 28 european countries and if you take visa if you apply and take visa for let's say france which i'll be showing you in this video it's not that you only can visit france but you can visit any european country within the schengen region so let's say if i apply for france visa and get the france visa through france and french embassy i can visit spain norway switzerland uh sweden etc so there is no restriction at all so when you talk about uh, these 28 schengen countries the process is you will not be able to go directly to the french embassy and apply you have to go through vfs global so the french embassy is in bangalore hyderabad uh, delhi and i think there is one in chennai but you need not go there and apply directly so that's why we have something called as an agency called vfs global so vfs global you submit all your documents to vfs global you provide your biometrics biometrics are very very needed and much required so if you if you if you uh, submit your biometrics to submit all the documents you'll have to go to the vfs center in your own city like for me i'm i stay in bangalore so i go to the vfs center which is in gopalan mall in bangalore and i submit my biometrics and submit the documents so vfs global will take forward my documents to the french embassy they'll get it approved they'll get it reviewed if any feedback is there if any missing documents is there they'll communicate back to you and uh, vfs global will communicate back to you saying that this document is missing if if visa is all right they'll deliver the visa and you'll have to hand over the passport you'll get a sticker visa like i'll try to show in my screen you'll get a sticker visa and then uh, uh, they will try to send it by courier or at hold it location so recently i got the turkey visa through vfs global if you have not seen my video i'll link it in the description below you can watch the turkey visa video uh, if you get a schengen visa you can also apply for a turkish e visa you don't have to apply turkey visa uh, all over again i'll come i'll come to this in my later part of the video because the video is going to be lengthy so please watch this video till the end to get more information i'll be sharing my screen and showing you guys on how to apply this france visa what are the documents that is most likely needed for french visa and france visa and i'm going to explain this step by step so please be clear guys and all the documentation that is needed uh, for the visa like you may need your travel insurance you may if you are working in it if you are an it employee you would need your 3 months pay slips and you would need your form 16 that is it return statement and you would need about 3 to 4 lakhs of uh, 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 of of money in your savings account or salary account to show that you can sustain in europe like let's say if you go for 10 days they are going to count as 100 euros per 10 days you you may need 100 euros per 10 days so that that comes up to uh, 100 euros per day sorry so that comes up to 1000 euros for 10 days so that is close to 1 lakh change so it's better to keep around 2 to 3 lakhs for not giving them a reason for your schengen visa to be rejected and the most important thing is also needed is itinerary and the flight ticket so i'll explain this by sharing my screen i'll explain this information one by one by sharing my screen and going to the french embassy website and you just have to submit the documents there then book an appointment in vfs global then vfs global will take the appoint your uh, documents to the embassy they'll get it approved or missing documents they'll come back to you and then you'll get to get your schengen visa so this process is all going to take about one week if you do it properly and please remember guys if you go through agent agents will charge more like this process if you go on your own by looking at this video it might charge around 8 to 9000 
thousand rupees, depending upon which country you're applying. France, and I'll show you what is the cost at the end of this video. But it's the same thing if you want to go through an agent, they will charge another eight thousand extra. So it'll come to sixteen twenty thousand for a visa, which will cost you only eight thousand rupees. Why I'm saying this is there was a couple where we met in our Turkey trip. The Turkey trip, if you go through VFS Global on your own, it could cost you somewhere around fourteen thousand. So they paid almost ten thousand extra for the same visa that I got, which which ended up uh, it ended up being twenty four thousand rupees. So that is very very expensive. It is your it is your own hard earned money, and I would never recommend uh, you to go to agents because the cost is too damn high. If you have a lot of money, yeah, please uh, go ahead be my guest. But if you are looking for something that can be done on your own and you want to do it. Follow this video and watch this video till the end for full information. So I'll be sharing my screen and let's begin. Hey guys, I hope you can see my screen. So just go to uh, Google or just uh, uh, go to your Chrome browser and then just click on uh, and then just uh, click on France visa. That's it. You just don't have to type anything. So once you click on France visa, you will get the first ever link. So just click on this link. and then here you can see a lot of uh, options this is the france official visa guys so this is official website for france visa so there are a lot of fake links in chrome when you just type france visa so be very careful and i'll try to add this url in the description below so once you once you go here and you it, it has many options like do you need visa start your vfs application submit your application track your application so all you have to do is just click on um, do you need a visa so let's let's understand what kind of passport you have and what kind of supporting documents do you have before I actually making the payments see do i need a visa and then supporting documents and amount to pay it's very very straightforward so let's select this um, uh, visa wizard and nationality is of course indian so this is targeted mainly for uh, mainly for indians and uh, age i'll just give example as like say 30 years are you married to a french national no and if you are married actually just select the option accordingly do you join to travel with a family member of an eu country exchange or eas swiss confederation i would just select this no this or uh, this option doesn't apply to me and the place of submission of application i'll just choose india again uh, it's again very straightforward and then visa type i would go for short stay 90 days you can go for long stay 90 days or airport transit so you can go for uh, more than 90 days if you if you want to explore all of europe and if you want to Stay in France. You can choose this option. And if you just want an airport transit, so let's say I give an example for this. Let's say you're going to United States, like Bangalore to um, Bangalore to, uh, say let's say San Francisco, and you want a layover in France. So you have got an Air France Airlines where you it goes via France, Bangalore to France, and then uh, Bangalore to Paris, and then Paris to San Francisco. And if you want to roam, uh, like come out of airport, like if you want say say short transit visa, or if you are booking different airlines, uh, let's say you're going from Bangalore to uh, Paris to Air France. and from paris you are going to san francisco in some other flight say uh, say united us airlines or something some different airlines or emirates or something so if you want a transit visa like if you want to check in your baggage separately you can apply for a transit visa as well so this is uh, what the notification you get but for this now i'm just going to select short stay 90 days and the main destination of stay would be france so just select france as your main destination of stay and then issuing country of document would be india because your travel document that is passport is from india and the travel document is ordinary passport and uh, if you have a diplomatic official i don't want to get here so just select an ordinary passport for most of the indians and just click on search so once you click on search you are going to get an option saying that you need a visa unless you are these particular three options but a normal passport who doesn't have schengen visa and who is applying for the first time just follow my video and you just have to accept all the cookies and your plans is a tourism purpose so this video is mainly targeted for tourism purpose but if you have business entry family medical ex reason study official visit study just do ping me i'll try to give any message information possible for these kind of options but this video is mainly targeted for tourism purpose and main purpose of stay is again tourism because you selected this tourism option now if you just click on search it is going to give you the supporting documents and the amount to pay so now this is very very important so if you can see here uh, these are the supporting documents required for your travel you have to have your passport 3 months i'll just go through this quickly guys because i don't want to make this video too lengthy so 3 months longer than the date to visit id photograph if you are not a national of country proof that you are legally resident so aadhar card would do here purpose of travel stay if the trip is your tour package attach the itinerary or uh, reservation of a return ticket or travel itinerary so if 
if you are going alone if you are planning the trip alone you have to submit a travel itinerary and return ticket for return ticket and two ticket to and fro return tickets i have already uh, mentioned this in my vfs global video if you have not seen that please do check out in the description below i have shown you guys on how to book a dummy ticket so social professional um, um situation like if you are employee contract or certificate of employment like let's say if you are working in it like i am working just you have to produce your certificate of employment just go to the portal or contact your hr and get the certificate of employment but if you are any of these apart from my it employee you can submit the proof accordingly so fund supporting documents so the last three uh, months of uh, pay slips and you need itr returns which is mandatory i, I went for turkish visa and it was more documentation than this to be honest guys so for employees three months pay slips for owning a company a certificate of registration so it's very very straightforward accommodation reservation of a hotel or sufficient resources to provide to cover your hotel expenses to amount 120 euros per day so you have to if let's say you are going to trip for 10 days and you have to carry at least 120 euros per day so 100 euros is approximately around uh, considering the exchange rate today it's about 9000 rupees so if it is uh, 120 euros it will come up maybe 10000 or 500 or 11000 rupees so 11000 rupees for 10 days would be somewhere around 1 lakh 10000 rupees in indian money you will have to carry for 10 days of trip and then uh, travel health insurance copy of a travel health insurance if not less than 30 euros so for this i would recommend icici lombard because it's very very good and you can just go to icici lombard website select this particular uh, select this particular option as uh, as uh, europe and then select 30000 euros if it is if it is going to cover 37 30000 euros and remember guys this should also be covering of covid 19 uh, expenses as well please remember that there is an option in icici lombard you can choose for covid 19 also specifically inclusive of your travel insurance package and then applicable amount the amount to be paid is 80 euros or about 7600 7061 indian rupees so this is the cost that would take to apply for this particular uh, uh, france visa and once you make the payment you can you have to submit this online application i am not going to do it now but if you just click on online application you have to create an account and you need to pay the amount that is 7061 rupees once you pay that you would get an appointment in the consulate and you just have to go and submit your documents give the biometrics and then hand it hand over your passport so once you hand over your passport it's going to take about 2 or 3 weeks or 4 weeks or 2 months time depending upon the volume so many people ask me i have not got my visa it's already been 2 weeks it totally depends on the volume i uh, i if i would apply say vfs global in bangalore or any consulate in bangalore bangalore is very very quick you would probably get it in 2 or 3 weeks even turkey visa i got it in about 2 to 2 and a half weeks without any follow ups so it depends on your city solely depends on your city whether it's delhi mumbai chennai or bangalore so bangalore uh according to my opinion it's pretty fast and you don't need to follow up because the facility is done by the government in bangalore and in karnataka is very good so this is pretty much it um uh, so if you have any questions do ping me on instagram for immediate response or comment in the comment section i'll try to respond as soon as possible so hey guys as you saw in my process uh, this is a simple way of applying uh, schengen visa and one more thing i want to tell you guys is there is a lot of schengen countries 28 countries to be honest and uh, in those 28 countries france and spain have the least rejections if you check on google if you ask any any uh, travel agent he would tell you the same thing so france and uh, spain have less rejections when compared to when applying to germany or when applying to norway or you are applying to uh, uh, switzerland the rejections may be a little bit higher so i have shown in this video as france as an example so that uh, you can do the same thing it's very easy just upload the documents submit the documents uh, then wait for the visa wait for the vfs global to contact you and then go collect the passport or opt for courier so this is as simple as this guys so i hope this uh, video was very very information in, informative to you and if you have any questions do ping me do feel free to ping me on instagram i'll try to respond to you immediately just uh, click on the follow button and then ping me because i'm not getting notified so just go to instagram follow me and then ping me so that i get notified and respond to you as soon as possible and if you not reply Uh, comment in the comment section i'll try to reply to your comments as soon as possible so please don't forget to like and share this videos with the people who want to travel to any schengen country or any european country for a europe trip so i hope this information is very very helpful to you guys i'll catch you in my next video